Okay guys, we got a generator here that is running perfectly fine, but it's not producing any electricity. So uh, here's a little trick that you can do if you suspect that the, the motor itself stopped producing because of an electrical problem. And in this case, I can see that red wire right there. I can see copper inside of it. So I'm pretty sure it touched the metal right here and that's what shut it off. So you can check the brushes and such too if you want, see if they're bad or making contact on ground. Um, but try this first if you can, or even if you've already checked the brushes and you've reassembled it and it still ain't kicking on, it could be the same reason. And it doesn't mean just here, it could be anywhere that caused it to shut down. It's a safety inside the motor that tells it to shut down when there's an electrical issue. So uh, maybe you've made the repair, maybe it moved back out of the way, I'm not sure, but if you wanna check, this is a nice little trick. So again, the engine, when it's running, it's too loud. So the, what I'm gonna do, and I'll do it here in just a second so you can see it too, is uh, I just want you to be able to hear me. I'm gonna start it up, and then I'm gonna take this drill, this drill, and I'm gonna connect it to the end of that bit, and I'm gonna bump this four or five times. After I've bumped it four or five times, it'll spin it and it'll produce a small amount of current backwards back to the motor, to the stator, to the brushes, et cetera, and try to excite it and turn it back on, which I'm pretty sure it's gonna work for this one. So um, while I'm bumping it though, here's the key factor. After I bump it about four or five times, I'm then gonna pull the trigger on this one while I bump this one like the fifth time or the sixth time. And at that point, this is gonna wanna yank this out of your hands. It's gonna twist your wrist pretty hard. So be prepared, get ready. Don't have two people do this because you're not gonna know which direction it's gonna go. Just have one person do it pull, and pull this one and that one. So I'm gonna bump, 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 get it spinning a little bit, and then I'm gonna pull the trigger. And you'll know because that thing will about yank out of your hand if it does start producing electricity. So again, it was too loud. Let me get it fired up here. That's it, it works. And it will work most of the time if the problem is it shut down because it ran into some sort of safety mode. So I hope this video helps you out. Please click like, please click subscribe. Click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always guys, enjoy.